A man wanted for murdering a woman in downtown Dallas was caught and arrested in Austin. Investigators say 46-year-old Janine Chapman was found dead inside an apartment in the National Building on Elm Street Monday afternoon. Her family says the suspect was an on-and-off boyfriend who married Chapman over the summer. Fox 4's Amelia Jones live in Dallas with the story. Amelia. Heather, Janine Chapman's sisters described her as fierce, loving, and ambition. Her murder blindsided them, especially since the suspect was a man who was so close to their sister. And she was an entrepreneur. She was getting ready to start her own business. So she was really ambitious living life to the fullest and just trying to accomplish all these different goals. 46 year old Janine Chapman was on track to achieve those goals. Her sisters, Nicole and Crystal Marshall, said she just started a new job and was working on starting her own business. She was all the way around a good person. So th this is the last thing that we were just completely bl blindsided by this. Dallas police say Monday afternoon, officers found Chapman dead in an apartment inside the National on Elm Street in downtown Dallas. Tuesday, the medical examiner confirmed Chapman was murdered. 48-year-old James Patrick was identified as the prime suspect. Her sisters confirm the two were together on and off for six years. In the last year or so, the relationship got really rocky. Marshall says that Chapman moved from California to Texas five months ago, since this is Patrick's home state. The two got married in July, but the family didn't attend. That's why I use the word blindsided, because we did not see this coming. We knew that they had arguments, and that's typical in relationships. It was a bit toxic. But we would never think it would have been taken to this extreme where my sister would lose, ultimately lose her life. Dallas police say Patrick was arrested by University of Texas police at a hospital on Wednesday and charged with murder. They wouldn't share why he was in the hospital. We got the target on him and yeah, so we're happy with the way everything is unfolding at this point in time. As Chapman's family copes with the loss of their sister, someone who they called a role model. I miss her every day, every day. Patrick is currently being held at the Travis County Jail. He does have a criminal history, including a terroristic threat charge out of Dallas County from 1993 that was dismissed, and also a theft charge out of Travis County also dismissed. No word yet on when he'll be transported back to the Dallas County Jail.